This is a clip from the Playback TV stream. Every day, 12 p.m., playback.tv slash run it back Philly. Be there. Also, we're on Bleacher Report today at 5. Bleacher Report app on your phone. Go on the Bleacher Report app. Go to what's happening now. The stream will be there at 5 p.m. We're talking about the Sixers playoff picture. We're talking about the MVP race. Join us. Be active in the chat on Bleacher Report. Let's go. Run it back, Philly. No fraud, no fanboys, no intros. Here is the uh, Sixers Wire article where Tobias Harris had comments after the loss to the Milwaukee Bucks. And Tobias Harris in that game had, what, eight points? Uh, Hold on, let me find it. Tobias said, oh, I, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. He had six points. Three total rebounds for a six foot eight player in a, an entire NBA game. Six points and three rebounds. He was a minus 12. So after the game, I think this was in his press conference. Uh, there are some quotes about what he said about the team with their tough loss to Milwaukee. So let's just check out what he said. Let's read it together and decide if we agree or disagree with Tobias Harris. The Philadelphia 76ers had a hell of a season this far. They're sitting 51 and 27. Uh, they're in contention to make the final. Who told you that? They're in contention to make the finals. Uh, they have just as good of a chance as the Milwaukee Bucks and the Boston Celtics at reaching the final. All right, Kai Carlin. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Anyway, uh, Sunday's 117 to 104 loss to the Bucks was almost like a reality check for the Sixers on how far they still have to go. Well, for those of us that have been paying attention the whole season, it wasn't a reality check. We've seen them uh, show their weaknesses several times throughout the season. And I guess for those that, ha that haven't been paying attention, for those NBA fans that just start tuning in, you know, uh, in February, I guess maybe this was a reality check. But yeah, I. I was going into this game, you know, saying this is a reality check for the Sixers and this is really going to tell us what we need, what we can expect from them, you know, going into the playoffs. But anyway, however, this was a reality check for the Sixers. The Bucks shot 69.6% .6 from the floor in the first half. They bothered James Harden into an off night. Drew Holiday bothered James Harden into an off night. They led by as many as 22 and they got whatever they wanted in order to knock off the Sixers. They were not, they were a lot of, there were a lot of familiar issues for the Philadelphia 76ers as it looked like the body language was bad when Milwaukee got off to that hot start. So it wasn't a reality check if you're saying there was a lot of familiar issues, which means the same thing happened in this game that's been happening uh, in certain games all season. Considering there are four games left, their vocal leader had a message for the group. Their vocal leader? Tobias Harris is the vocal leader of the team? Who? When did that start? <laughs> this is why I don't read sports articles, bro. <laughs> the Sixers, according to Kai Carlin, the Sixers have just as good of a chance to reach the finals as the Boston Celtics. And... Tobias Harris is the vocal leader of the group. <laughs> anyway, Tobias Harris said this, shoot, figure it out. Uh, we got to figure it out. Four games left. I think the biggest thing is that in the midst of all that stuff, we still got to be mentally strong to win a game or at least just present ourselves that we feel like we win a game. Hold up. I think the biggest thing is that the, in the midst of all that stuff, we still got to be mentally strong to win a game or at least to just present ourselves that we feel like we win a game. What does that mean? Uh, Tobias Harris says we need to either win the game or we need to present ourselves so that we feel it. I don't know what he means. I don't know if that was typed wrong or if that's what he actually said, but 
Let's continue. Milwaukee was coming off a 41-point loss to the Celtics, and they fell to the Sixers at home back on March 4th. This almost seemed like a statement for them to remind Philadelphia that they run things in the East. More Tobias Harris quotes. If you just looked at us out there, I'm not watching the game on TV, but I can guarantee you, you saw a team that looked a little defeated out there from time to time in the game. That can't be us as the playoffs get ready to start. So Tobias Harris, who I've called a quitter before. I just watched one of my old rants uh, that said where, where I was saying, you know, Tobias Harris, once he has a little bit of a bad run in a game, once he misses two or three shots in a row and gets his layup smacked into the third row or has a bad turnover, he quits trying. He's, he straight up stops trying. Uh, for him to even say we in this quote is ridiculous. Tobias Harris is the one that had six entire field goal attempts in the game. Tobias Harris is the one that shot three for six in 28 minutes. There was either a helicopter that just flew over my house or a monster truck drove down the street. I'm not sure. Tobias Harris is the one. So for Tobias Harris to say, you, you saw a team that looked a little defeated out there from time to time in the game. That's not very encouraging. Why, why do you guys look defeated? That continuously goes back to the message. You know, what is being said in the locker room? What are they talking about at practice? Is there practice? Is there film study? I know Doc Rivers, I was watching his press conference after the Bucks game, and he said, I'll, I'm going to go look at the film. And I was like, you don't look at the film. There's no way you look at the film. And you see P.J. Tucker wide open in the corner, refusing to shoot the ball. There's no way you're watching the film. Or you'd be calling P.J., hey, P.J., in the third quarter, uh, Joel got double teamed at the three-point line up top. You were wide open in the corner. He passed you the ball, and you, and you, and you passed it right back. Why, we signed you to be a defensive three-point sp- corner three-point specialist. Why aren't you shooting the ball? If you were watching film, that would be a question that you had. But you don't watch film. Uh... More Tobias Harris. I think even if a team comes out and makes shots, we still can combat that with getting some good looks out there. We've shown throughout the year that we can do it. It's just a matter of being consistent and figuring out how to create the best balance for the whole team to get in a flow out there. Those are the things that we have to figure out. The Sixers have four games left, two at home with the Celtics and Miami Heat, two on the road with the Atlanta Hawks and the Brooklyn Nets. Tobias Harris also says, we don't have much time to do it, but when we're defending and we're rolling, that's when we do it the best. But in games where we're not getting enough stops and teams are making shots, we got to figure out how to do that at a high level. I Well, there you have it. Straight from the vocal leader of the Philadelphia 76ers, Tobias Harris. It sounds like Doc talking. <laughs> Doc told PJ, when you take threes, you're taking shots from Joel and shots from James. He probably did say that. For those that don't know that reference, he that's what he said to Tyrese Maxey uh, in the offseason. Live on NBA TV at a Sixers live practice, he said that to Tyrese Maxey. Any shot you take is a shot that Joel could have, is a shot that James could have, is a shot that Tobias could have. <laughs> That's a real thing. That's a real thing, man. Um, 